So hello guys, welcome back to Forja Gaming. I'm your host Forja. So in this video, we're gonna see how to route knock simulator using Kitsune Mask means Magisk Delta, of course. So Magisk Delta has changed its name from the last time. So the recent release is actually a pre-release, but uh, it's actually a pre-release only. Okay. So let's install this pre-release. So and we will use it to route the knock simulator so first i'll show you what are we gonna do and also later in this video we'll gonna see how to hide root and everything but uh, for now knox is not supporting the device is certified feature so we have to ask the admin to fix it okay for now i have only find a way to root and you can see the zygisk and ram disk has been enabled and Zygis also is working perfectly fine. So you can see Zygis, Magis, Hide, and uh, Enforce Solution also is working. So let's see how to do it using Kitsune Mask. Okay. So also uh, you have to use the. Uh, actually, I am using the latest version of uh, <coughs> Nox here. Okay. So first let's close the knock simulator and wait for it to completely close. Okay, it has been closed successfully. So click on add emulator. So you can use the knock assistant if you don't know how to do it. Just open the knock simulator again. Means you can usually open a knock simulator just by double clicking the knock again uh, it will be on the desktop or you can search in the search bar too okay so we have to go and search and download the knox simulator so after going into the knox simulator you can see in the right side there is a menu bar there you can see the multi drive option so from there you can also open the multiple instance means knox assistant so or else you can use the knox assistant directly from the outside if you have created a desktop shortcut okay so you can see here this is the option so it's easy to uh, do like that but we will do from here also means i'll do from here okay so now wait for the emulator to close okay it closed so i am clicking on the add emulator make sure you choose the android 9 okay uh, anything else i think it won't work i tried in the actual version of the nox which was given by default it didn't work uh, it gave me too many problems so uh, my best opinion was android 9 maybe others should work fine actually the latest android 12 was uh, pretty fine i think uh, for the last video, I did a video separately on the Android 12, but I don't think so it's worth it. Like, uh, too many people were asking about uh, why it's not working on, means uh, Zygisk module is not compatible like that. So, I want to clear one thing that uh, all our systems run in an x86 architecture, uh, it is not based on ARM architecture, okay? So, it doesn't work. You have to use a ARM architecture laptop like uh, if you go to the Mac laptops it will be <coughs> sorry uh, if you use Mac laptop it will be like uh, ARM architecture only uh, it will this by default ARM architecture only you can't change it it is a CPU okay so you can't change it so you have to use a ARM architecture uh, to use it uh, please don't come asking me because i never used a mac laptop okay i don't know how to do that but uh, many are saying that we can use a mac laptop so we have to try it on your own okay now in the knox simulator we have changed the language and now it has booted up successfully so now what we have to do is open up this folder so this folder i will give it in my discord server okay as usual you can go to the discord server and download the files so recently there was a 
huge problem between files so i have fixed it now you can download all the files right now so after downloading the files just install all the apks that are inside the um, folder okay after installing all the fold all the apk files you have to wait for it to completely install so it will take a lot of time uh, so let's see uh, here you can see i have installed a safety net checker kitsune mask and tomex and also the other okay so basically what we are going to do is uh, install the install the kitsune mask and we are going to basically just bypass all the root detection using play integrity fix let's see how we can do that also we'll use the play curl but uh, it's not that worth it because uh, <coughs> you know that uh, rom is not signed right so we have to ask the nox developer to fix it or else uh, if you are an android developer you should know that uh, if you are an android developer i'm talking about like you can do it manually okay if you want a video on that uh, please ask i'll do my best to research on that and i'll make sure to give a video to you okay basically it's the problem of signing of the room and uh, that's all it is a security feature by google play store but uh, it is not available by default so that's why too many games and apps are actually finding out this this is the emulator you are playing it so also in the next video i am gonna bring you a uh, sl unpinning full tutorial so make sure to subscribe my channel uh, basically in the before weeks i didn't upload any videos so from now on videos will be uh, coming continuously let's see so we have to wait to install the apk okay guys uh, the apk has been installed so now what we have to do is click on the settings again and we have to go to the general tab and enable the root again so that we can grant uh, root to the magisk and we can install it easily right like before it was named magisk delta and now it has been changed completely uh, it's such a weird thing so okay guys click on settings general and uh, click on root save settings and restart now okay now the root will be enabled and we can change settings in the magic kitsune so kitsune mask whatever okay now that name has been changed and everything is blah 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 so uh, we have to wait for the emulator to boot up uh, nowadays ads are becoming weirder and weirder so we can't do anything about this <laughs> okay let's wait for the emulator to boot up so it has been booted up successfully now open the kitsune mask and uh, grant the root permission to remember choice forever and allow now just <clears throat> don't go to the settings it's not necessary just click on hello and next and then select a path and file now close the application completely and open the magic kitsune again oh, so i am selling it from and wrong again and again so now click install preserve avb direct install into system partition okay so now it has been finished go to the settings again and uh, go to general and uh, click on uh, means uncheck the root option and restart now so now you will have the completely rooted edition of nox but with mask means kitsune mask okay so now we will select all the remaining zip file we have in our folder also i have given the nox emulator with you so you can install 
the same version as me okay so we have to just drag and drop inside the knob simulator in other emulators we have to do too many things to copy files so in this it's very easy but let's see okay <coughs> it's glitching for me sorry guys uh, i feel ill okay now as you can see uh, you can grant permissions means root permissions to apps and all so if you go to the pictures you can see all the files are here so we will use amaze only to install okay modules so for you guys uh, it's not necessary the the ls post is not necessary it is for the next video i was saving up okay we will install all the means we will install system less host and we will add the magic and we will enable some sizes and things also so i will name it whatever okay <coughs> I am naming it whatever I want and now I will click on OK so that I can hide the magic path. Okay, so the magic path will be hidden and sizes uh, and everything will be enabled. To do that completely, we have to actually restart the emulator. So let's see. Now we can see. Uh, magic has been renamed successfully and we have to enable all these things digest and everything you can see it has been changed completely now after we restart we have to means <clears throat> you know we have we have already copied the files we just have to install the modules okay we will install it very simple it's very simple okay let's see how to do it wait for the emulator to start up we have given a restart right so it will take some time so uh, don't worry it will not be that long as you think it will start soon but it will take some time because it has to do too many works background right okay it has started up okay now open the kitson mask again now its name is hearts <laughs> go to the modules and install from storage and go to the amaze option and from here click on every single module as i said uh, ls post is not necessary for you in the next video i am gonna teach you how to do sl unpinning of an apk using um using frida and uh, this one so uh, it's about next video and yeah it is an educational video so please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so that you can watch everything in the next video okay uh, as you can see now i have installed all the modules and i clicked on restart now what we have to do is wait for the emulator to start up again and uh, now we will enable the play curl and uh, play integrity fix okay so also now if uh, because we have installed the play integrity fix now every single root per root detection has been bypassed so let's check that also so first we will enable the root permission for termx so open kitsune mask first <clears throat> first open the kitsune mask and oh it's taking too long uh, if it takes too long just close the ap uh, means close the kitsune and reopen it again it will work okay don't worry it's not a issue or uh, you didn't means if you think you did the root wrong, no, it's not. Just close the APK and open it again. Okay. So, yeah, let's wait for a few seconds and then we'll try. Okay. We'll close the APK and we'll open it again. Sorry, I opened the APK instead of closing it. So, now I will open. 
as you can see it has opened you can see the ram disk and size disk also is yes uh, now before it was like it was showing no and it was showing too many other things so we have to give the root permission to termx so i have given the root permission now uh, let's go to the termx app now and let's type in su just type in su and press enter you can see the root permission has been granted and now type in fp and enter um, basically here you can see that uh, uh, you are using means you need to use a sign row you are not using the sign row so because of this uh, play integrity won't be certified so don't worry about this uh, it's not that big issue okay if you want to play games then uh, even blue stacks nowadays doesn't have these things so also my route for blue stacks won't work anymore uh, too many people's comment tell me that so uh, soon in the future i will bring a new video for that so now let's check uh, uh, in the ls post we can actually use a module but uh, it won't work for the emulators though uh, it's called uh, root checker bypass okay so root checker bypass so this is the module okay uh, it won't work for emulators actually but i think it should work only for uh, root checking detections it will do a bypass but okay so let's actually see whether the root beer is bypassed or not so if i click the lock icon let's see okay everything coming pass so you can see the emulator is not rooted so root detection have been bypassed but uh, still the google api gives error because of the device is not certified right so the device is not certified so this is the problem we are getting we are facing now so you can see in the play store uh, if i go to the settings and go to the about section you can see the device is not certified to certify actually we install this only the play integrity fix only but it is not working on emulator but the root detections are is bypassed so let's see in the future uh, if the nox emulator admin did some good things like fix these things uh, we can actually play games and do things like that but uh, for now this is enough for uh, like uh, doing frida tool attacks and everything like that so make sure you use everything legally and uh, always do everything ethically so we'll see in the next video until then also uh, every files will be available in the discord okay uh, in the discord you have to go to the files link section also i will rename this to nox root okay so that you can actually get the root files and everything so this was it for the video see you in the next video hope you like the video so thanks for watching bye bye take care